The next 2024 Republican primary debate, just a few weeks away. And Donald Trump is expected to skip that one as well, just like he did the first debate. Although Trump and DeSantis share many similar traits, including their, quote, war on everything woke, DeSantis has pushed an even more extreme agenda in some ways, with Florida's version of anti-LGBTQ plus laws, draconian abortion restrictions, loosening of gun restrictions, banning DEI initiatives, whitewashing slavery, and more. So... You'd think that with that kind of track record, GOP voters would be swooning at the thought of making America Florida. But the twice impeached, quadruple indicted, disgraced one term ex president still holds a commanding lead in the polls. And Florida Governor Ron DeSantis consistently trails in a distant second place, just showing that Republican voters are just not that into DeSantis. Joining me now is Kurt Bardella, L.A. Times contributor, Democratic strategist, and former House Oversight Committee spokesperson for the Republicans. Kurt, thanks for the next installment of I'm Just Not That Into You Either. Last week, we looked at Vivek Ramaswamy. This week, it's Ron DeSantis. Let's start with the first topic, which is abortion. DeSantis gunning for that six-week abortion ban that he got passed here, telling also Kaylee McEnany that men should be providing financial support to pregnant women from the moment of conception because, quote, most women don't want to have abortions. Kurt, talk about why DeSantis on a national level might be such a disaster for what is already a disastrous abortion stance. Yeah, I mean, it would be disastrous for women in America, but really, this is a disastrous platform for the Republican Party. Let's be very clear here. The Republican Party extreme MAGA position on women's rights in America is completely out of the mainstream with not just Democrats, not just with independents, but with a lot of Republican voters as well, frankly, uh, which is why when Republicans lurched this far to the extreme, they end up just stepping on themselves and putting themselves in political peril. Every data point that we have seen since Roe v. Wade was compromised has shown us that this is a losing issue for Republicans. And a midterm election that should have been a massive red wave, given where the economy was at the time, given the president's current approval ratings, they should have had a 20, 30, 40 seat majority. Instead, because of the, the impact of Roe v. Wade, they barely got through a majority, the narrowest majority we've had in my lifetime, at least. They lost a seat in the Senate. They gave political oxygen to Democrats when they had them in a very vulnerable position. And the fact that they're looking at 2024, Katie, and going, you know what? Let's run that back. Let's do that one more time and see if it gets any better. After what we've seen in places, very red states that have had ballot initiatives about abortion, where Republicans have just gone upside down on this, they keep doing these same things. And for Ron DeSantis to think that this is the path to somehow overtake Donald Trump, to get even further to the right, if that's even possible, of Donald Trump on the, on the abortion issue, it's not going to work. It's just a stunt. And apparently nobody in America wants to make America Florida. Yeah, let me be on record by saying, if you're going to force women to have kids, you better damn well give them financial support. So maybe Ron DeSantis will be the first to come at bat for that. Let's switch gears now and talk about the fact that just a few days ago, a federal judge telling Ron DeSantis that his, DeSantis's version of a congressional map here in Florida, quote, diminished black voters' ability to elect their candidate of choice, further advancing the GOP agenda, Kurt, of disenfranchising minority voters, especially black voters. So why should Americans not want DeSantis in the White House? Well, it's very clear that not just with Ron DeSantis in Florida, we've seen this now all across the country. The Republican architect is to try to do everything they can to make it harder for communities of color, minorities, uh, disenfranchised voters to participate in the democratic process because they know that when the playing field is level, there's simply more of us than there are of them. We've seen all the reports from the U.S. Census Bureau that in the very near future, we are going to be a majority minority country. There's gonna be a majority of non-white people uh, compared to white people for the first time. That terrifies the Republican Party. The kryptonite for the Republican Party is our diversity. And so they're going to do everything they can to try to actively suppress voter participation in America, because if the numbers are fair, if the process is fair, they know that they have no path to hold on to political power. That's in part what's driving this entire Republican Party platform of being anti-democratic. Kurt, uh, finally, if there was any a reason to not support Ron DeSantis, it's the fact that he's not going to win. I mean, I, I'm not a gop -er, but I'm just saying if you're the GOP. A DeSantis, a DeSantis campaign official anonymously telling the media that a, quote, strong second place showing in Iowa is a good thing. I'm going to invoke Talladega Nights, Ricky Bobby. If you ain't first, 
your last. So DeSantis, big dollar donors are also ditching DeSantis at this time. I mean, Kurt, why is Ron DeSantis just as bad for America as Donald Trump? Well, I tell you, this is the one thing about voters, and I don't care which party you're in. Voters can tell when you're not really authentic, when you're trying to run as a cheap knockoff of somebody else. Ron DeSantis is just a poor man's Donald Trump. He's trying all that he can to emulate and mimic Donald Trump and his style and his brand of divisive and hateful politics. but. He's not the real thing. The real thing's still in the race. It's not going to work. That's why Republican primary voters have, you know, unanimously pretty much rejected Ron DeSantis. The idea that this guy was going to be the the anti-Trump, not Trump alternative for Republicans is laughable. And the fact that he's going around and trying to convince people, hey, cut a check to me so I can finish hopefully second. That's a really tough proposition to make. Who's dumb enough to write that check to that person? Uh, you know, it's like if, if you're going to try and beat the real thing in Donald Trump, you got to be something different. And he's he's proving to everyone he's just not up for this fight. Yeah, and that's why DeSantis isn't going after Donald Trump like others should be doing. Kurt, you brought up one of my favorite saying, which is you're better to be a first rate version of yourself than a second-rate version of someone else. Kurt Bardella, though, you're an original. They broke the mold <laughs> with you always. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you.